every carnival has about the same thing. Rides that challenge you to do something different, foods that tempt you to take a bite, and sideshows that dare you to try and beat the house. Usually, when most people see the carnival, they see it as a small city of fun and games. You don't want to, Robin. Call Bird out of Winter Quarters and let him, uh, let him come on down at the crossing and show him exactly what we want to get done. This city is run by James Straits. If you pictured a carnival owner as a tough man in a sleazy trailer smoking a cigar, in this case, you're about as wrong as you could be. James Straits is 49, a college graduate, a millionaire, and a very hard worker. We'll fix that before we go to the lot. 10-4, thank you. I'm a product of my environment, all mixed in between the Marine Corps the college, the university, working on a show. Um, not much different than anybody else. Straits isn't one to sit back and count his money while other people do the work. Every day he is on the job, watching over his carnival, like a surgeon watching over a patient. Let me tell you a philosophy. <clears throat> Let me tell you a good thing that you can remember. If you want something done, you want it done right. If you're not interested, really interested in yourself, to get up out of bed and to go and see if it's being done or supervise it, then you're going to find out it's going to fall way, way short. I'm going to show you what geniuses we are. Now, this really takes a mental giant. That's the reason my father sent me to college, so I know better than this. Hey, Robin. Good, you know what's on the phone? Yeah, a roundup. The front left is flat, too. When you get those tire people. Yeah, that's what we're doing now. What do we got going here? A laundry? What are you doing? Who does he work for? What? Tell him to get himself to the lot, will you? I want to get the man with the upholstery and uh, have him do some of the tractor seats over. Any of the tractor seats that we need done over. And let's get him uh, back in the winter quarters and get him finished up. You know, when I was in the Marine Corps, they wouldn't let us eat candy bars or drink Cokes and that stuff. Will you stop the bubble gum? You know, the image. Image is... Yeah. Well, do you see yourself then as, as the general then? I see myself as a participant with a lot of other people. Uh, the general wouldn't be the word. Coordinator might, might be uh, more appropriate. Most of the problems with this organization, when I find problems, is because I've neglected them. You're in great shape. We needed some loving care. Straits Carnival is just one of two in the country that still uses the train to transport equipment, just like his father did back in the 20s when the show was started. The old-fashioned way is difficult, well, but may prove best in the long run, considering rising gasoline prices. People used to fun us. You know, say, oh, you're still on the rails, you're still on the rails. Now with a fuel crisis, funny how we go right back, you know, and they say, geez, are you lucky? You know, are we lucky? We're consistent, not lucky. I don't know. Traveling by train is about the only thing old-fashioned Straits does. Since he took over the show 21 years ago, he set about to change the image of the carnival, to make it more of a family show. We wanted to have the best show in the country. We got the best show in the country, without a doubt. And I say that with, uh, you know, all modesty. We, we have it because we work at it. We wanted to make money, we made money. We wanted to be respected, and we're respected. So there's a market for it if a man and his wife can bring their family out here and really enjoy themselves. And it's a total package. It's not only the amusement rides and the hot dog stands and the concessions and the ball games. It's the exhibits, you know, it's the people participating to put it on. That's what makes a fair different than going to Walt Disney. If you go to Walt Disney, you're a spectator, and you're participating to a degree like you do on the Midway. Here, you've got your community participating with you, you know? And it, it really is something that's uh, part of the Americana. I like what I'm doing. 
I like where I'm at, and I think with good taste and some restraint, you can put it all together, you know? In this business, you can acquire a great many of bad habits. Do anything you really want to do, and a lot of people do, and um, almost get away with it. But the only one that pays the price is, is yourself, you know? I enjoy the people I'm around. I enjoy that guy that gets up on a tractor. You know, again, you know, you remember where you came from and you know where you're going. You don't ever begin to think you're something you're not. That's very important, whatever you do, you know.